Now, if you've been researching Meta's data engineering roles, you've probably seen a lot of stories on Reddit about the interview process. Some good, some less encouraging. We're speaking to someone who went through the Meta data engineering interview. So our guest has been in the data engineering field for the last 10 to 20 years. Today, we'll learn about the application process, his interview experience, and of course, actionable tips. How did you discover the Meta role and why did you decide to apply? The, the process has started when uh, when I was attending one of the LinkedIn webinar, one of the data engineering expert or professional was trying to conduct an online LinkedIn video where he was explaining about few of the data engineering stuff. Then finally, I tried to connect that person through the LinkedIn. So that that person apparently was an engineering manager at a data space in Meta. She kind of impressed with my profile and she kind of referred me to Meta. That's how my Meta or a fan journey started interview process. During this talk or during this application when you sent in it, it into Meta, how did you work on your resume, cover letter or portfolio and how did you make those things stand out so they would choose your application? I, I did not really had to go through it. My, I've been giving interviews for various year 2 TNC companies. So my profile was more or less same and LinkedIn was completely up to date with whatever the information across to the industry. But however, since it was referred by somebody whom I know, looks like I also worked with that person long time back. So that person referred me. So so that kind of skipped me to that online uh, evaluation of the profile. So it directly went into the recruiter hand. That one thing, right, if you have more connections in LinkedIn, the more referrals you get it, like you are going to skip that bot kind of a system where it is filtering your resume by checking all the cover letters and few other things, right? So you are trying to avoid that step from directly getting into the recruiter. Now, when you submitted your application and it was already chosen by the recruiter, how long were you waiting? How long did the process take from submitting the application to receiving a, an invite for an interview so as soon as the referral is completed somebody from the recruitment team reached out to me saying that hey so and so person has referred you uh, we i wanted to know more about you and what's your skill set and then then i had a call with recruiter a week later call was predominantly trying to get to know my skill set my current roles and responsibilities and then what's my future interests are and then in the same interview conveyed that hey i'm applying for a senior data engineer role at a meta which is an individual contributor ic role and then the recruiter was like very friendly and she said like okay i understand now we are good to proceed and she kind of do, do a recruiter evaluation. Like predominantly, there would be a five questions asked in a SQL and five questions on asked in a Python, which are very layman in terms like what is the difference between where and having, or like how do you select it, or how do you do order by. And I mean, in terms of the Python, like, it's like what's the difference between a stack and a queue, mm, or like what's an array or what's the string. Basic five questions, basic evaluation done by recruiter. As soon as the recruiter felt that that I kind of went through that recruiter round, she told me the process that what is the next, what are the next steps? The next steps were, so she said like, hey, we will have a coding round where you will be given a, a one hour of a session where 30 minutes you'll be, 25 minutes you'll be like doing a SQL coding round and then 25 minutes is a Python round. Uh, and then she gave like what would be the SQL focus areas and what would be the Python focus areas. SQL it's predominantly like like typical aggregate functions and then joins and uh, uh, and selecting or like maybe a little bit of window functions. And a Python it's purely arrays and strings and uh, dictionaries. So one thing in Meta, which I really like it, is like once you clear the recruiter round, recruiter will give all the information required you to prepare for the next round. So she asked me like what, how long you wanted to prepare for it. Then I said like, okay, maybe I need a month. So, and then she said, okay, after a month, she, uh, she asked me to choose a date. I have chosen a date. And then she gave me all the materials to prepare for my coding round. Uh, then the discussion ended. Uh, after that, there was not much of communication with the recruiter because everything was given in a PDF, which I could self-explanatory. So I started preparing for my coding round. Uh, the five question, it wasn't an interview yet. Are you submitting? Is that right? Just like a basic evaluation of uh, whether the candidate is, is a data engineer, right? So j you just ask few basic questions to uh, gauge the person, right? All right. So was there any part of the interview that was uh, about uh, behavior or uh, they asked you about... Uh you know, like the typical HR questions, like how do you deal with 
stress or stuff like that or was it or purely no no there was there was no question on that on the recruiter round it's predominantly trying to understand my uh, individual roles i've played and responsibilities have taken over the period of my professional career and she was trying to understand like what are the databases you worked or what are the languages you worked on it it's more of uh, know, knowing about me whether i can be a suitable person for an ic role so as you said it's really more of a technical interview so can you discuss with us any specific technical challenges or problems that you encountered during the interview uh, i don't think so generally like those are the very basic questions that a recruiter asks so i think if person working for a data field i think should be able to answer now can i ask you which stage of the interview or the application process did you enjoy the most and which one did you find the most challenging i enjoyed the entire uh, journey from the initial coding rounds to the loop round only only thing i felt is loop rounds were much more exhaustive basically going through the uh, product sense and, uh, and then sequ- uh, building a data model around the product or metrics you have developed and then writing a sql queries and one of the round where like i was given a case study about over we talked about product sense and then developed the data model and then started writing a sql queries within that 20 or 30 minutes span the interviewer was like made me write like seven to eight sql queries and the question after the question question after the question right so you solve something and then he was trying to put something else into the and uh, some add complexity to it so i felt like it is overwhelming and uh, exhaustive but at the same time it's like you understand the word fang right so they are called fang for a reason right so the kind of interview process that you go through and solve those kind of complex problems make sure that uh, you are into a fang role so i did not this is this is not a successful meta uh, interview i went through but it, it, it is a good learning right so at the end of the day the recruiters were after my initial coding round they said like oh, you cleared the coding round so then go to the loop round so they have given all the materials and at the end of the, my loop round also she gave me a very uh, constructive feedback saying that these are the items which you are lagging we were expecting 100% you are at 60% level so the kind of loop and feedback was really uh, good at least helped me to prepare for a next time if i am appearing for a similar interview for future applicants for aspiring uh Uh, metadata professionals what advice can you give them uh, to join the data team or what advice can you give them so that they can succeed in their interviews as well so one thing one thing is uh, i i felt like metadata engineer it's more of a sql heavy than a python heavy i would say like 65% of a sql and 35% of a python in terms of the data engineer uh, data engineer should focus on solving the sql problems by taking the case studies right even if in initial coding round or in the loop round right, they will be given a case study like uber or a netflix and you need to develop the metrics around that particular uh, application and then build a data model around it and then write a sql on the data model you have built right i would say like sql would be like a very heavy and looking at the various successful use cases across the industry right it can be uber and netflix or it could be a facebook or it could be airbnb or it could be doordash so you have to look at those use cases and then prepare yourself especially the sql and prepare to uh, improve the efficiency as well as the speed so both are does matter on the sql side and a python side i would say uh, arrays strings and uh, arrays and strings and dictionaries but in the loop round there would be a question questions will be asked on the streaming predominantly there will be like python problem python program you need to write for streaming certain data and do some processing right so typical stream processing question also will be there so uh, one other thing which i could not i mean being being working in services companies or like large banks i never had like product sense uh, kind of a mindset or hat i never wore so uh, meta especially meta test heavily on the product sense so they expect you to come up with various metrics it could be a, like engagement metrics or it could be a revenue driven metrics or it could be a, like um, a retention or like engagement metrics so you need to, uh, any any interviewer should develop the product between the loop uh, co- loop round to the uh, code ra- coding round to the loop round the heavy focus should be on the products and data model and then then sql then python so that's the way see can you share also how you were able to use interview query to help prepare uh, for your meta yeah. interview 
so uh, after the co- co- uh, coding round completed so till then i never had any confidence that i'll be clearing the coding round once i would i was able to solve the problem then i said like it's like music to my ears right so as soon as i got a call from recruiter saying hey we we see you that you passed the coding round we want you to look round and you to look round and then i said okay no, thank you then i i took a couple of months between the coding round and loop round but uh, but still i was not confident because I came from a very like working in services company not at a product company never had uh, that kind of um, appetite in me and also ne- and i was also intimidated by the universities these guys recruited right so the people at meta maybe uc berkeley or ucla or like maybe in india it's like iits or something so i never had uh, uh, that kind of appetite or like uh, confidence on me after clearing the coding round also i never i felt like it just happened then i didn't have uh, energy or like have a mock interviews reach out to people spend some more money because again i was feeling like i'm not yet there i was testing the water then i was looking at somewhere online like okay maybe what is are there any forums places where i can i can learn myself um, because yeah i'm still not confident so then i was researching then i found interview query and then i looked at i had a free subscription or free trial looked at the questions uh, interview query has the uh, all the details required for the uh, these kind of interviews to attend right it can be a product sense question or uh, within the product sense there would be like me- developing the metrics or diagnosing the problem and there are the frameworks which are built in and also there are like sql problems python problems and there are some use cases for the data modeling or a system design so I I took a trial version then as soon as I felt confident then I enrolled myself to a one year interview query uh, subscription and then started my uh, my loop round journey to interview query so whatever the end outcome i would say i've got and the feedback i got like these are the things like behavioral round i was able to clear uh, so behavioral round was there in the loop round so been, uh, like in meta the loop round consists of one behavioral and three technical round the behavioral round is predominantly test your uh, uh, like leadership and your ability to work in a high pressure environment so that is something uh, i i had one of my director at, at the company i work i had I had a couple of uh, mentoring sessions with him and also i prepared my use case right my case study about what did i do for like last two three years what are the challenges i have faced what are the most challenging work i have uh, i've faced in like last three years what did i do great and uh, how can i improve so those things i had to prepare myself so i could able to behavioral round however coding in all the three coding rounds i could not clear the the feedback is very clear on that product sense and sql is at 60% level so they, they there was no complaint about the data modeling or python it's more of a product sense i would say is where i kind of uh, uh, did not go through that uh, did not go through the uh, the interview yeah but yeah interview query literally helped me uh, to go into that 60% stage right? as i stated early i mean i know it happened in the coding round i cleared but i was still not confident right so to from a, maybe i would say 10 to 15% kind of a confident guy to reach to the 60% level is what interview carry helps me but one thing i could have done is like maybe do more mock interviews like talk to industry experts and like maybe a person working from like 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 interview carry right so there are some coaches who are working from meta so they know like what exactly meta is looking for and you have one mock interview with that particular coach see where you are and he might give you a direction like hey ganga product sense is what is your missing factor work on so on so thing look at more use cases and read something or like prepare something or like look at some uh, like spend some more time in it so i would one thing i really lack is that mock interview so you need to have at least i would say minimum six six mock interviews is what i was expecting so that you can see the trend right from 10% to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 like you can see the trend so and one thing i felt you need to have a mock interview with the same person for next next six interviews so that he can see the progress what you are exactly working on and then he can help you to go to that level so uh, product sense and little bit of sql 
and more mock interviews is what i would right. i would uh, look for it to the people watching this if you want to practice for a metra data engineering or data scientist role yeah you can use interview query we offer a comprehensive interview guide we have interview questions you can practice from you can do coaching and mock interviews with one of our coaches and we have a lot of learning paths for you to go through so uh, i guess that's it for our video thank you so much to our guest for sharing their experience thanks everyone